G'day folks, it's Revan here, hope you're all doing well, and well, uh, this time around you get to see a little bit of a change with my own little, you know, po self-podcast background display and everything that I got going on, which is pretty awesome and pretty straightforward. I've still got a lot of tweaking to do in work in progress and everything, but first and foremost, I want to start off by saying that um, I have been thinking about most recently about one of the most well-respected IT gurus out there in the field who has generated a lot of wealth and knowledge for the whole world and it's not just about himself or his friends but he has developed a fantastic community and this video is dedicated to Liars Tech Tips. So Liars Tech Tips or and as such, the whole media group and the team behind it and the people who developed it have done a fantastic job. Now, as you know, most recently in the last couple days, I was actually caught off guard by this sudden announcement that I'm about to show you here. Now, it's actually kind of funny that um, I always, you know, like as a ritual, at least once a week i would go to the Lias tech tips homepage for the youtube channel to actually keep up to date with all their videos and stuff and most recently i was a bit surprised and shocked and as also at the same time happy to hear from linus being honest and upfront about what he was going through now most recently he made this announcement where he has decided to step down and take a step back from the current role of being a CEO of the workplace. He felt that he was in a situation where that he felt better to be managed and actually be running the business administration side of things. And I respect that a lot. Because when I was watching his most recent podcast to his, you know, um, live streams to the videos he has done on his youtube channel and stuff like that i felt in the last eight months something was not right about him and it was clearly evident in the last 12 months before that i noticed that there was a trend in linus himself and Linus sebastian is pretty much a very self-motivated inspirational speaker he is very inspiring to a lot of people out there. He has shown a lot of compassion to his people, not just to his staff, but he's also shown a lot of compassion towards others in the community out there. He actually cares about not just only his family, but to everyone out there and always put the community first as well as his you know, family and everything around him. Now, it's nice to know that he truly cares about his community, he truly cares about his family and his colleagues, which is a big round of applause to Linus himself. The biggest thing that I was a bit um, worried about Linus was about a, a while ago, he actually made an announcement that he wanted to feel like retiring and he felt like pulling the plug because of the amount of working hours to other factors that were you know toppling on top of him and he's got to the point that like you know like ah that's enough well in all seriousness though linus um when i watched your videos i was actually um really worried about you because you know for an it guru like myself i love you know like watching your videos and everything like that but nobody would like to see you you know get hurt in the process or whatever you're doing if you're feeling burnt out or anything like that and we truly care about your health and everything and it's most important to put your family and your you know everything first before you know the community because the community out there um i probably the, i would probably get some feedback about this but i think they would have felt the same way that it's really important that you put your health first and your job before the community so that you know like you're making sure that you have the right mindset and everything and we have noticed that there's a big improvement since then but we noticed that there's a bit of a you know like a bit of a trend uh, that was happening 
for example um, when you had videos that was coming across with bantering with staff members you know with those like intel and amd um, tech builds which is great you know it's, it was nice and i felt very happy about that i actually smiled and giggled about a few things that was being said in there and um i was actually you know i felt like alive with you but at the same time um, some of the builds you did um uh, on stream as well as the podcast it was good but i felt like there was like a bit of a high pitch here saying that you're very happy with joining what you're doing but at the same time you felt mentally drained and tired of everything you've been going through just to you know keep a balance and i could see it in your face <laughs> and you know i have to say i really do acknowledge what you're saying and everything so let's just um, go ahead and show you this video what we're talking about folks so this is a, a video that came across into Lies Tech Tips uh, main homepage on the YouTube channel. It's called I'm Stepping Down. Now I have to say that this video was very well done, very well written. Um, and the transcript for it is a bit emotional for him. I have to admit um, when I was watching his videos, um, I was a bit heartbroken the way he f was talking for this nearly 10 minute video so i'm gonna play this 10 minute video for you all so that we're all on the same page and well we'll take it from here and see what happens all right so let's go to it whoops it would help if i actually have unmuted the desktop sound let's try it again Successful companies eventually outgrow the leadership of their founders. Most successful companies eventually outgrow the leadership of their founders. And it looks like my time is now. Effective July 1st, 2023, after 10 wild and very eventful years, I will be stepping down as CEO of Linus Media Group, Creator Warehouse, and Floatplane Media. I'm sure you have a lot of questions and I'm gonna try to answer them all here. Like, yep. why now? Um, what's gonna happen to the channels and the lab? And if not you, who's going to be around to tell us about our sponsor? Now, in all seriousness, though, what Lion's Tech Tips was um, explained there, 10 wonderful years. He's done 10 fantastic, wonderful years about everything that has been going on and everything. And, you know, first and foremost, that he has, you know, done a fantastic job of building his community when i've actually first watched his first youtube video i was like saying to myself wow you know and like uh, that that video was very old <laughs> but you know like back in those days that was the technology we had back then and what was available and honestly it's just like you know a bit mind-blowing to see this sort of thing going on now let's just see what's going on here uh what linus was about to say next wow the truth is I was never really cut out to be a CEO. I remember putting it on my business cards in the early days when we had only four employees thinking, this feels ridiculous. And <laughs> I've never really outgrown that. I'm a lot of things. I'm a bottomless pit of creative energy, an excellent motivator and speaker. I'm wicked smart, charming, really funny. But in addition to those strengths, both real and imagined, I have a lot of weaknesses, and chief among them is that I've just never really had the attention to detail or the temperament that it takes to run an organization this large. I touched on some of this during my infamous 10 million subscriber stream. Yeah, that one there, um, that was a very good example. When I was uh, watching uh, this video that Linus did, and um, I have to admit the, the, that was so painful for me to watch it even more than three times i have to say but i ended up watching this video at least a good 20 times and i have to say that each time i watched it i picked something about him i actually felt for him i actually got to the point that i was gonna write a big long massive email to him and then i thought about you know posting it on you know his uh, social media links and shared my views as well and i did some of it in some way but 
I felt that back then I felt that he was just venting and I know that Linus is a great courageous man he has a lot of great talent he's got a group group of friends around him um, he has inspired over millions of people around the world and in all seriousness though that he has worked day and night it may not seem like it when you see it on the YouTube channel as such because as a you know bit of a content creator myself you know when I look at my YouTube channel I may get like you know six or seven views and ten views and a hundred views on some videos that I've done but I'm not asking for fame or anything all I'm asking is um, in return is that I hope you enjoy the content and you know do a little bit of that in return Elias um, when he had this focus I mean like when he was building this um, PC tech world that he had in mind when he first thought about it he had a dream and he goes like you know what let's do this you know like there's not many people have done it and he had made a great success out of it and you know to this day I have a lot of respect for him so the question is though where to from here though but the truth is while I did manage to wrap that up with a positive message about finding motivation to move forward none of those feelings I talked about ever went away I wasn't built for this and I'm tired like really can't do this anymore and well the truth is we were seeing it look um I got I felt to the point that you know like Linus was doing a great job you know despite of everything and it was getting to the point that um he's starting to show signs that he wasn't exactly enjoying the job like he used to and even though he is a prideful owner and a respectful founder of the company and everything that he's built there was a couple of things that i pointed out to myself like you know like if i'm you know like an owner of a company and something like that and i was going through that for sort of motivation uh, where that i'm not enjoying something then i have to you know take a step back and cut back from doing it and that's a good indication right here in this example right now tired and if i try to drag myself through another 10 years of business administration i know i'm going to destroy myself and probably end up killing the company and the community that i love so much in the process I yeah and that's a good example so he just ad openly admitted that he doesn't want to you know like um ruin a fr good you know um community or ruin a good franchise that he's built for so long and this is where you've truly seen a good sign of you know like of uh, linus sebastian being really honest and open about his feelings and he's very honest about it and that is something we hold dear about a person's integrity you see like for example if you had a friend of yours that is going through a similar fate and is actually finding themselves in a bit of a rough spot this is a good way of saying hey guys i'm having this problem right now i'm i'm gonna admit it that this is not you know not, not good so i'm gonna rewind a little bit here uh, about him feeling a bit tired because like this is a clear indication that he's very exhausted so let's just continue on with the video I can't do this anymore tired and if I try to drag myself through another 10 years of business administration I, I know I'm going to destroy myself and probably end up killing the company and the community that I love so much in the process I'm at my best when I'm pitching new content or product ideas or when I'm problem solving ways to wipe garbage sites like user benchmark out once and for all and I have some good news none of that stuff is going to be going away my new role is going to be chief vision officer which is a stupid like bs sounding made up role but I, I think it really <laughs> I have to admit uh, for him to say that it actually you know like the kind of made sense because he's a very pretty much a very visionary person and linus is um always strikes me as a visionary person like he 
looks way beyond at least maybe a good you know four to ten years ahead of the future that he has an idea that he's going like yep this is where i'm going to be and then at the same time though he is also focused on the here and now so basically when he is focused on the here and now he knows that okay this is i know where he wants to be and this is where i want to go this is where i want my friends to go etc but here and now it's not happening so this is um, a clear indication that he's a bit of a in a struggle spot but at the same time though that this is where he starts to admit a few things really is the best one we thought about creative officer but that didn't really encompass what i'm going to be responsible for because my gut and principles are what got us to where we are today so i'm still going to be charting the path that i think makes sense we don't want to lose our moral compass but when it comes to the details of how to best utilize our resources to get there i need some help and i'm sure you have a lot of questions right now like who our second sponsor is just kidding we're gonna to get to that later <laughs> first i want to talk about what isn't <laughs> did i really write you know like the, in terms of the second sponsor you might as well say it the second sponsor is everyone around the world yay let's go linus <laughs> what isn't <laughs> did I really write that sorry first I want to talk about what isn't going to change and the biggest one is the rest of our leadership team Yvonne and I spent the last six months working with them on my replacement which included having him work for us on a contract basis to ensure that they feel he is a a competent manager and b the kind of person who can comfortably integrate into our team they are going to be continuing to work alongside him to ensure that this transition goes as smoothly as possible the next thing that isn't going to change is me. I am not going away. You can expect to see me on camera just as much as you used to. I mean, ideally, maybe more, since if all goes according to plan, I'm going to be left to do what I do best, which is engage with our community, that's you, and create. Speaking of which, I'm going to be doing a Q&A session about this with the community in the next week or so. Make sure you're signed up at floatplane.com LTT so you don't miss it. Also not changing, our ownership structure. Yvonne and I are still the sole shareholders and directors of the company. So there hasn't been some kind of corporate buyout that's going to force us to sell our souls to cover their purchase investment. We did have a substantial offer recently to sell out, and I might as well speak plainly. The offer was $100 million. Wow. 60% cash, 40% shares in the acquiring company. Not Basically, bad. it was enough to live in a beachfront hotel for the rest of our lives, for our kids to do that, and for our kids' kids to do the same. We decided not to take it, and there were a few reasons for that. Yep. First is that, honestly speaking, it wouldn't really change our lifestyle much. I mean, what, yeah, are, what are we going to do? Buy an even bigger house? <laughs> an even faster car? I mean, that's never really been us anyway. Second is because we love this company and the people in it. And I just, I just don't think our mission's complete yet. I'm, I'm not sure that it will ever be. My point is just that our attitude towards money, so make lots of it and keep reinvesting and building this thing to do even better, it's not going to change and you're not going to see the kind of short-term thinking that comes from investor pressure. Our long-term thinking is just going to come from this guy instead. On that note, then let's talk about what does change. And this is actually mostly for the benefit of my team who's watching this, but you guys might as well be in on it. The biggest change is in reporting. No one will report directly into me anymore. If there's an issue with salary transparency, or the snacks in the lunchroom, or the warranty on the backpack, or whatever. I promise you, I give you my personal guarantee, trust me, bro. Whatever it is, there is somebody else who's in charge of that, and that is by design. Yvonne and I have laid out a clear set of guidelines for how we want this company handled, with integrity and compassion, people first. We wanna make strong investments in building something that's gonna to continue to offer growth opportunities to everyone who's part of our team. Beyond that though, the buck stops with the new CEO. I'm not gonna be stepping in to undermine him. And this is a big shift that's gonna mean we're all gonna to need to break some really old habits. With that out of the way then, who the hell is this guy, right? <laughs> the keen eyed among you might have noticed that the picture I showed you is actually from the roast a few years back. So this isn't your first exposure to Mr. Taron Tong. He was my boss when I worked at NCIX, which oh, wow. makes him kind of uniquely qualified for this position because Managing me is a challenging task. I am everywhere. 
Even the most skilled of administrators have struggled with it. And he's one of the only people to ever successfully do that and, and teach me. Um, he, and I mean, if I'm being honest, really, one of our other colleagues, begrudging shout out to Jack. <laughs> the two of them taught me most of what I know about business, both what to do and what not to do. Shout out Jack. <laughs> In the years since his departure from NCIX, Taryn has done stints at Corsair and Dell, both of which have been successful enough that they've thwarted all of my previous attempts to hire him. Seriously, since pretty much day one, I've been looking for an excuse for us to work together again, and every single time I would talk to him, he was worth so much more than the last time that I'd go, damn, I guess we're not really ready for this yet. But now that the deal is inked, I'm really excited. I'm excited to work with my friend again, I'm excited to have a steady hand that I can trust on the tiller of this ship. A second steady hand. I haven't forgotten about Yvonne, who's the only reason I've lasted this long at all. And I'm also excited about the mentorship that he can provide to me again, and also to the rest of our team. We are headed into a really exciting new chapter, guys. Yeah, and you know, to be honest with you, to be able to work with someone uh, side by side is very understandable. Look, um... Let's just be real. If you know somebody that you have great relations, business relations with, and you had no issues on either a personal level or friendship level, and you're okay with it, it's the best way to do it in all seriousness though. I personally thought about it myself, about, you know, like whenever I would be going back to a different job or anything like that, and how would I feel about it all? Um, yeah, look, in, in no seriousness though, it, it's a good feeling to get back into something that you enjoy. And that is the biggest thing about it all. So, considering what Linus just said, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. But, you know, I, at the same time, I do feel sad that he's stepping down from the CEO role. You know, like, in the childhood dream that I had, I actually jokingly said to one of my friends years ago that I would have loved to work with Lions Tech Tips or Lions Media Group and work with them overseas one day. And that was like, you know, back in the days and back in university. And that was like literally a long time ago. This was back in 20... Uh, not 20. Um, it was probably 20 years ago, actually. So there you go. But um, just by thinking about it, you know, like back then, I was jokingly saying I would have loved to have that opportunity. But, I mean, like, in all seriousness, though, everyone has a dream like that. But, you know, maybe one day that the Lions Tech Tips uh, might be a sponsor or anyone out there who has, you know, shouted them out. Look, in all seriousness though, I always loved Lions Tech Tips. And, you know, J2 Sense as well as, you know, other franchises as well. But, um, yeah, I just felt a bit sad about it all to hear that he's going, but, um, from the CEO role. But I'm glad in, in a good way that he is still the owner and he's still the director. Well, you know, technically you run the joint still, but you have a managing director who is running the company and you have one less responsibility to deal with. So that's actually fantastic. But um, there's a lot of people I do respect. But um, for example, J2Sense is another one. And also, um, there's a few a few others I would recommend for you as well too. Better videos, better products, new investments that are going to make us just the primo source of tech information on the web. I'm sure of it. Now, I don't want to say too much more about him for now. Once he's onboarded, I'm sure he's going to want to prepare a little thing to talk to you guys about. You know, it'd be kind of fun. Should I interview him? Is that <laughs> as funny sure? as I think it is? You know, be it sure. doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. In the meantime, I can assure you that he is zero bullshit. He's a super hardworking guy with great attention to detail and not only a ton of experience in the computer industry, he actually has a background in media as well. He formerly wrote at NeoSeeker, if you want to go dig up some of his old articles for fun. Oh, wow. Sorry, Taryn. Um, sorry for bringing that up and sorry for turning your introduction here into this segue to our sponsor. Micro Center. But yes, 
um it's a very good example of you know like uh what he was saying there but uh yeah it's actually very well done though so i'm actually very very happy you know with the outcome of this video I really am and um yeah I, I was actually very, very glad to hear in the outcome of this, really am. If you guys want some more context for this big change, I would suggest checking out the I'm Thinking of Retiring stream. I still can't watch it. Just to find the timestamps for what I put in the video earlier, I had to just download a transcript. It's just rough, but it might give you guys a better idea of the headspace that ultimately led me to give up the reins so that I can focus just on my love of tech and bringing you guys the best content that I can. Most success- And in all seriousness though, that's why it led to where it is now. So the I've been thinking about a retiring video, I have to admit that video was the most painful video I have ever seen to watch. Um, it's just like, uh, it's uh, pretty much, you know, very disheartening. It's like, um, I'm actually looking up at the video that Lies Tech Tips did. Oh yeah. There we go. This is a, a video that I was looking at it a very long time ago. Now, that is Linus. Um, that video was literally three years ago to this day. Now, I have to admit, when I looked at this video three years ago, um... He, um, yeah, it was, you know, like, um, pretty rough. I mean, like, look at my comment right there. You know, that's a good example of that, you know, right there. But overall, he's done a fantastic job overall. But anyways, folks, Linus. Great job, bud. Um, and, you know, like, I wish you well and all the best and moving on with your future in the near future anyway. But uh, don't worry. We still always will support you, mate. But uh, keep in touch with us because we always would love to hear from you. And you have a great community all around. And stay safe and take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time on the next podcast video. Stay safe.